the eighth problem is pretty interesting so we have sanya who hears a sound in the night and she comes out to her balcony which is at a height of 80 feet from the ground so let this be our tower which has a height 80 feet so if we take this point to be our origin 0 comma 0 sanya is here which would be 0 comma 80 and she uses a torch light which makes angles theta and alpha with the ground so the rays from the torch light make angles between these two So this angle here, this is theta and this angle here, it is alpha. And there are two thieves, their heights are given and they are standing at these distances from the building. So thief T1 is somewhere here and T2 is here what the what is given to us is this distance is 37.5 so t1 is 37.5 comma 0 and this distance is this distance is 50 feet so this is 37.5 feet this is 50 feet so T2 will be the point 50 comma 0 and we are also given to understand that T1 is standing at a certain height, T2 is standing at a certain height which are roughly the same, one is 5 feet, the other is 5.3 feet. In our diagram, we have drawn the rays of light as though they are passing away from the two thieves. However, that we need to find out. So, if tan theta is 2 and tan alpha is 16 by 9, can Sanya see any of the thieves? So, it is given to us that tan theta is equal to 2, whereas tan alpha is equal to 16 by 9. So, that means we can find the slopes of this line which is the lowest ray of the torch and this line which is the farthest ray from the torch and these slopes would be m1 is equal to minus 2 and the minus is because the standard angle here which is the angle from the positive x-axis is actually 180 degrees minus theta as you can see it is clearly a line with a negative slope. Likewise, this also is 180 degrees minus alpha. Thus, this slope M2 is equal to minus 16 by 9. In our diagram, we have drawn it as though the two thieves are safe. But this is only a rough schematic diagram. We didn't draw theta and alpha accurately. What we need to do now is to check if the line from Sanya to the head of thief 1 or the line from Sanya to the foot of thief 2. If these two lines have slopes between M1 and M2, then the two thieves are likely to be seen. So we need to calculate these slopes. Let's call the head of thief 1 as h1 and that point will be 37.5 comma 5.3. So slope of s h1 is equal to 80 minus 5.3 divided by 
0 minus 37.5 which is minus 74.7 divided by 37.5 which is roughly minus 1.992 and the slope of st2 which is to the foot of thief 2 is 80 minus 0 by 0 minus 50 which is equal to minus 1.6 so i'm going to call this m3 and this is m4 and here m2 is roughly equal to minus 1.78 so clearly m3 is greater than m1 and lesser than m2 but m4 is greater than m2 and also greater than m1 which means m4 that is the foot of thief 2 is not visible to Sanya. The actual light cone looks something like this. So thus we can say the head of thief 1 is visible whereas thief 2 is not visible. And this light cone that we have drawn earlier it is wrong. 